When you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Okay. How easily can you be found in local searches? And does your prospective client find a detailed business profile on those local search sites? And this is more important to certain people. If you are a doctor in a certain location, so let's say we're outside of Philadelphia, even though our business is really across the country in Canada, uh, and we have some clients that are around the world that contact us and have some of our materials. but. If you're in a specific location, you want to make sure that local search does a great job for you. So Google Places, right. some of the other things. Yelp. Yelp. Uh, really things that important are, ones. Right. If you had a restaurant, you want to make sure that things are locally, that are really finding you of what's going on there. Of course, because people are going to, if you're in any kind of business where people are, are physically traveling to your place of business, local is critical. Because if I'm looking for... I'm not going to search for Chinese restaurant, Chinese food restaurants. I'm going to sh search for New York. I just did it in New York. I was on, you know, pulled up my little Yelp app on my iPhone, and I was looking for a Cuban restaurant in in Greenwich Village. And boom, He's such there a restaurant it was. guy. He really absolutely is a foodie here. Whereas if you're an international consultant, I mean, local may be far less important because you want to be have the world and the whole web be your right. client base. But many, many small businesses and professionals, of course, are only going to be interested in a 20 to 30 minute travel range because your clients are not traveling that far unless you're a, a hyper specialized uh, kind of person. But you want to be on those local search sites. We call them the influence engines because not only do they influence people's buying decisions, because things like Yelp are such dynamic active sites, they're getting ranked and re-ranked and, and, and all the time. So your presence there actually elevates your whole presence on the larger search engines uh, simply because you're there and getting re-indexed all the time. That's right. So we want to make sure you need to look for that in particular. So put your local town name in as well as your name. That's one way to look. Right. But also as your specialty. So you could be Springfield cardiologist. See what comes up. We have friends. Well, Springfield's a tough one because there's a Springfield in, in, in a million different states. There are, and it's a very important one if you have a common name like that because right. we have a friend who owns uh, a car dealership in Springfield, and sometimes we can see Springfield, Missouri, right. Springfield, yeah. Delaware County, right. outside of Philadelphia. So we want to make sure that we're really in there for that. Okay, we'll move on. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.